Uh, Mike, what do you look for uh, that determines whether a project is successful or unsuccessful? Besides the, the obvious other things that you see when you're reviewing or looking at a project? Well, I mean, we have all the standard things that, uh, that show up in our NPRs and our guidelines for reviews. Uh, frankly, if I want to know whether a team is actually going to be able to do what they do, I'm, I'm looking for what's happening in a meeting. So if, uh, if you're seeing a meeting where people are having, a, having some kind of a, an issue, and if they're having a, a passionate discussion about what's the right thing to do, but people are, are doing it in the context of, of trying to be constructive, uh, then I think that you know you know they're on the right track. If you've got a bunch of people in a room and everybody's simply shouting about their point of view and not trying to figure out what's essential to the mission, then then you've got a problem. Um, somebody asked me once, you know, what do you worry about when you go into a shuttle FRR? I worry a lot when we're when things are too quiet, that there's something that we should be talking about or not. And I worry a lot when we have uh, a problem like the flow control valves on the most recent mission where everybody is talking about that one, that there's something else out there that, uh, that we're not focused on that's going to come back and get us. I guess the bottom line is I tend to worry a lot, but <laughs> oh well, that's part of the business. Right. So, uh, Yeah, worrying is part of the business. <laughs> that's what you always do because we are doing things for the first time and you don't always know what, you, you don't know what's right. right? You, you know what you think is right, but you don't know what is right. Um, uh, so you have to look at all of the factors that go into it. Was it designed correctly? Was it understood? Uh, and that requires looking at the people, looking at the team, just as, as Mike said. So you do look exactly like Mike said, at team dynamics. The, the other thing, just to add to it, is talk to the leadership of the team, is what I do. Um, you know, if the project manager or the chief engineer or the the head financial person or the, the, uh, the head safety and mission assurance person can't tell you pretty clearly what it is that they're doing, then probably the project doesn't know what it's supposed to do either. So in addition to looking at what the team is doing and what the dialogue is and, and what the product is that's being developed, it's to also go off and, and look at what the, uh, the leadership knows and how they can express themselves. Yeah, that's to me. That's one of the discriminators between the good project managers and the great project managers. The great project managers know exactly how to get a team uh, into having the discussions early, not shutting them off too soon, but then getting them to the point where yeah, it's time to make a decision, even if you don't have perfect information. And perhaps as importantly, is making sure that everybody understands why they're making the decision uh, that they are, because. It's not very satisfying to anybody for, for people to be part of a passionate discussion and somebody to come in and say, we're doing A, and they, were, they were thought C was the right answer. It's a big difference if somebody comes in and says, we're doing A. I heard what you said about B and C, but A is the right thing for us to do now because, and give all of that rationale, and especially if they're, they're acknowledging that there may be events downstream that, uh, that cause us to, uh, to change course, but this is the direction we need to go today. And that, that makes for a powerful leader, leader of a project team. 